Um, so let's do some of these examples. If I'm trying to find the combination of 10 choose 6, I can follow my formula. Uh, we have 10 factorial in the numerator, then I have 10 minus 6 factorial in the denominator, times another 6 factorial. So in the bottom I have 4 factorial times 6 factorial. Now looking at the two denominators, 4 factorial and 6 factorial, we have 6 is bigger, right? So because 6 is bigger, when I do 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial, I'm going to choose whichever one's bigger in the bottom and stop my numerator at that factorial so I can finish it. In the denominator I also have 4 factorial which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now this is easy to see that the 6 factorials divide out. If you wanted to you could divide some of these out um, by yourself like for example 8 and 4 the 8 in the numerator and the 4 in the denominator can both be divided by 4. If I divide by 4, I get 1, and if I divide by 4, I get 2. So I'm allowed to do that, or I could just go and use my calculator. Um, is there anything else that can divide out? It looks like this 2 and this 2 can divide out entirely. This 3 and the 9 can divide out to 1 and 3. And so what do I have left in the numerator? I have 10 times 3 times the 2 divides out, the 7. In the denominator, I have 1 times 1 times 1 times, just really 1. So I have 10 times 3 times 7, and that gets me 210. Now if I didn't want to reduce in my head, I could have just used parentheses 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 parentheses, making sure that I just include everything in the numerator, divided by, and then use my parentheses again, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then after that, hit enter, close the parentheses and enter, and it's still 210. Now there's one more way you could type this in the calculator. If you had a calculator like mine that has the C uh, combination buttons, you can just type 10, find your combination button on your calculator. Mine happens to be in a menu, and then 6, and you'll still get 210. But if you're going to show me some work on the test, you'll probably want to show me uh, this work, and then you can always check your answer using the button. Alright, for our next example, we have 8 choose 7, so that's 8 factorial in the numerator. 8 minus 7 factorial times 7 factorial. So in our denominator, we have 1 factorial and times 7 factorial. So because 7 is bigger, when I uh, write out my numerator, 8 times 7, I'm going to stop at 7 factorial so that the 7 factorial can reduce. 1 factorial is just really 1. So we have 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial, and that divides out, and you just get 8 divided by 1, and my answer is 8, without any real calculator work to be done. If you're unsure, you can always check it using your combination function, and it does turn out to be 8. Okay, so our next problem is a little bit trickier because we've got a numerator and we've got a denominator, and so I have to work out the numerator. I'm going to do that in purple. I'll come back and do the other one in green. So in purple, I have 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial divided by, in the denominator, 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. In the numerator, we have 10 factorial over 7 factorial times 3 factorial. Notice that the 7 is bigger this time. In the denominator, I have 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 factorial. I get, so this time the 4 is 
bigger. So we're, we're paying attention to which one's bigger so that we can see which ones to cancel. So we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial in the purple over 7 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1. I left the 7 factorials there so that I could divide them out later. Divided by in in green, I have 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 2 times 1 times 4 factorial. Again, we left the 4 factorials so that we could divide them out. So in the numerator, I have 10 times 9 times 8. Let's just go ahead and do that. 10 times 9 times 8. So in purple, we have 720 in the numerator over 3 times times 1, which is 6, and 720 divided by 6 is 120 in the numerator, in purple. In the denominator, in green, I have 6 times 5, which is 30, over 2 times 1, which is 2, and 30 divided by 2 is 15, so 120 divided by 15 is 8. So this whole answer turns out to be 8. If you want to check your work, we can use our calculator. We could do 10 and choose the combination. Uh, 10 choose 3. And then just use our divide key. And then we have 6. Use our combination function 4. So that says the combination of 10 choose 6 divided by the combination of 6 choose 4 hit enter and I get the final answer of 8. But again, you'll probably want to show your work here. Now let's go through some examples. In the card game Go Fish, a person is dealt five cards from a standard 52 card deck. The order in which the five cards are received doesn't matter. They all go in the same hand. How many different five card hands are possible? So, because the order does not matter, that tells me that this is a combination. The cards can't be used more than once, and they're all being pulled from the same group. So this is definitely meets all the set of the qualifications for a combination. So I need to figure out what n is and what r is. And once I figure out what n and r is, then I just plug it in my formula. So I am having a total of 52 cards, so that's going to be my n, and I'm choosing 5 out of that. So my formula is going to be 52 choose 5. Using the formula from above, we have 52 factorial divided by 52 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. All right. Uh, when I reduce this, I have 52 factorial divided by 52 minus 5 in parentheses. That's going to be 47 factorial times 5 factorial. Because 47 is bigger, I'm going to be working with uh, trying to reduce the 47 factorial. So we have 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 factorial over 47 factorial and I'm leaving those because I'm hoping that they divide out here and then we have 5 factorial which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If you want you can start canceling some of these things or you can use your calculator and just remember you'd have to put parentheses around the entire top and the entire bottom. Uh, just leave out the 47 factorials because it's going to overwhelm your calculator. But we can do 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48, close the parentheses, divide it by, open up a new parentheses for the denominator, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, close that parentheses, and after we hit enter, we get a very large number. It looks like 2,598,960, and that is the total number of ways that you could get dealt a five cards from a 52 card deck, which is very interesting um, for lots of different types of games, including Go Fish.
our next example, we have uh, you volunteered a pet sit for your friend who has seven different animals. Now you're not going to take all seven in because that seems crazy. But uh, how many different pet combinations are possible if you only take three of the seven pets? He's going to have to use some other friends there. So um, does it matter what order the pets walk into your house? Well, no. You're going to be watching the seven, uh, the three of the her seven pets until she gets back. So um, definitely order doesn't matter. So this is a combination type example. We have N and R. My N is going to be seven total pets and we're choosing three of them. Using the formula I have seven factorial over seven minus three factorial times three factorial. Seven minus three is four factorial. And four is bigger than three. So the four is what I'm going to be trying to reduce to. So we have six times five times four factorial. I'm going to leave the four factorial as is so that it can divide out times three factorial. Three factorial is three times two times one. Notice that the four factorials divide out and I can go to my calculator and type seven times six times five in parentheses in the numerator divided by in parentheses in the denominator three times two times one and that's going to get me 35 total ways that we could possibly pick three of her seven pets to watch. The other way of doing this problem is you could type seven if you have this function on your calculator, um, three, and then that will also get you 35, but you'll, that was probably more of a check um, because you'll have to show me some work on your exam.